Hi guys, this is Miss Igo. Welcome to my classroom. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some different things with fractions in the TI-36X Pro Calculator. To put a fraction in the TI-36X Pro Calculator, you can do it just like you would any other calculator and use the division symbol. So if we were going to put in 8 over 16, I would press 8, the division symbol, which is right below clear, and then 16 and then hit enter. And we know that eight is half of 16, so it gives us the answer as 0.5 or 5 tenths. If I want to convert that to a fraction, all I have to do is press the little button right above the enter key. So this button right here, right above enter, if I press that, if you'll notice, it gives me a fraction again, but it's a reduced fraction. So it took the eight over 16 and it reduced it to one half. If I want to convert back to a decimal, I can hit that same button again, the button right above enter, and it changes it to a decimal. If I want my fraction in my calculator to look the way that it did when it reduced my fraction, the one half, I can put it in that way. So I'm going to press clear. And this button right here above the number seven, if you'll notice, it looks like a fraction, but it's got blanks in it. So I can use that to input my fraction. The cursor is highlighted in the numerator, so I can go ahead and put whatever number I want in the numerator. I'm just gonna use the same fraction that we did earlier, eight over 16, so I'm gonna press eight. And then to get to my denominator, I'm gonna use this cursor button and press down to get to the denominator and then put in 16. Then to get out of my fraction, I can just move my cursor over to the left and that um, gets it out of the fraction. So again, here I have a fraction. If I want my fraction to be reduced, whatever my fraction is, if I hit enter, then it automatically reduces my fraction. I can do operations with fractions. Again, let me clear it. So if I want to put in two fractions, here I pressed the button above the seven that gives me the blank fraction. So I'm gonna do one half. Again, I'm using my cursor to navigate to the different positions. So I have one half and then get out of the fraction. Another way I can put a fraction into the calculator instead of pressing that button first. So if I do one half, if I wanna add one third, I can go ahead and press whatever number is in the numerator. So I'm gonna press the one and then when I hit that fraction button, it automatically pops it up into the numerator and the cursor is now in the denominator. So I'm gonna add one half and one third. And then when I get out of the fractions and hit enter, it adds the two fractions together. And again, it automatically reduces my fraction. If we were doing this by hand, if we were gonna add one half and one third, we would have to get a least common denominator first. Putting it in the calculator allows us to add them without finding the least common denominator. But let's say you wanted to know what the least common denominator was whenever you were um, dealing with fractions. I can show you how to do that with the TI-36X Pro. Okay, so let me clear that. So the least common denominator is basically just the least common multiple between our two denominators. That means it's the smallest multiple um, of the two numbers. And again, they just happen to be in the denominator, so we call it the least common denominator. So to find that, if I press the math button right here below mode, press the math button, if you'll notice the second option says LCM. That stands for least common multiple. I can choose that two ways. I can either scroll down to number two and hit enter, or if I just press the number two, it chooses that as my option. So now that I have the least common multiple, I put in the numbers that I want to find the least common multiple of. So I'm just gonna use the numbers two and three like we just had in our previous two fractions. And the way we put that in, it doesn't matter what order. I'm gonna put in two and then I have to separate it so I'm gonna use this comma button. Well, if you notice the comma is blue and it's not actually on the button. So to choose that, I have to press the second key and then that will choose whatever's blue behind the button. All right, so when I choose that, if you'll notice, I now have a comma. 
I want to find the least common multiple or least common denominator between the numbers 2 and 3. So now I'm going to put in the 3 and close my parentheses and hit enter. And it tells me that the least common multiple or the least common denominator between the numbers 2 and 3 is 6. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.